Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the ultimate, and welcome to episode 22 of Let's Platinum Final Fantasy VII. Alright, so I'm back, and I've completed my uh, grinding. Um, I still have uh, Tifa in my party, so I'm just going to show off what happened. Um, I managed to learn my second level 2 limit break for Cloud, Klim Hazard. Uh, it attacks one opponent, it's quite, quite powerful. Um, Tifa has got her first level 2 limit break, Water Kick. Uh, in fact, let's just set that. T Tifa's limit breaks work a little uh, differently than, than the other limit breaks. I'm going to set it to level 2 right now. And what's going to happen is when I use her limit, she'll be able to use Beat Rush, Somersault, and Water Kick all one after the other. And you'll have to make sure that you land on hit with the slots um, in order for Water Kick to count. And therefore, um, for it to be able to use, uh, for her to be able to learn the next uh, limit break on level 2. Uh, and then finally on red 13, I got his uh, second level 1 limit break, which is called Lunatic High. Casts haste and raises defense percentage for all allies. And I also got his first level 2 limit break, Blood Fang, attacks and drains the HP and MP from one opponent. So yeah, that's what happened. Uh, okay, so just make sure Tifa's got... Yeah, okay, cool. I'm going to switch um, in Barrett one more time. I'm going to try and use a few different party members as we go, but I'll put Barrett in for now just because that's how I have done it. It doesn't really matter. I technically could use Tifa or someone else, but yeah. All right, so Cloud's good. Let's get Tifa's stuff, put it on Barrett. Put this on Barrett as well. All right, so he's got Steel, Steel, Enemy Skill. Okay, cool. And I think I'll just keep everyone else as is. Um, in terms of uh, learning materia things, like you'll see here... Lightning is on level 2 now, Fire is on level 2. Uh, this restore actually is like 30% of the way through already, <laughs> the new one that we bought. Uh, this all is almost leveled, Chocobo Lore is doing pretty well. Steel doesn't matter. We leveled up this all, and we've got restore on level 2 here, and it's already some decent portion into level 3. Uh, all as well, cover is level 2 as well. Ice is level 2 and fire is level 2. So we've got a lot of level 2 stuff. Alright, um, so I'm just making sure. What do we want to do now? We want to head to... Um, I'm going to head to Fort Condor one more time. And we're going to rest up. And then we're going to move on to the next area. Okay, so let's go over here. All we're going to do is just um, regain our HP and MP at the, uh, at the bed thing. Come on, up you go. Alright, so the next place that we have to go is, if you remember, the Turks let slip that, um... Hey, let's get some rest. Yeah. The Turks let slip that, um, Sephiroth was headed to a place called Junon Harbor. It's not too far from here, so we need to head there. But before we do, we have a little thing to take care of. Um, okay, so let's climb up here, go down... And down and out. Um... Yeah, so before I turned off my encounters, but only because I didn't want to fight any of the enemies in this area, I just couldn't figure out a way to beat them, but now I'm pretty confident. What we want to do first is we want to head... Um, so this uh, all behind, or like where Cloud's facing right now, all that area is all like blocked off by ocean. This is the only way we can go. And we want to enter this forest in particular. Yeah, this one here. And we're looking for a particular encounter. Let's see if I get it. Sometimes it can be really unlikely to get. Uh, I don't, yeah, okay. I got this encounter. This is a decent encounter. These guys are called formulas and they're weak to wind. So we can have, uh, let's have Barrett steal from them first because we're looking for something. Damn, that sucks. They do a lot of damage. Uh, you know what, let's have I'm going to have Cloud attack one, because he's got Chocomog Elemental, so he's going to probably kill it. Yeah, there we go, 278. They have 240 um, health, so that's pretty good, but they do a lot of damage, as you can see. You can see I have a bunch of Q, uh, level 2 stuff now. Oh my goodness, okay. Heal, 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 heal. Alright, we'll leave the other one alive, and we'll just have... Um, Barrett continue to steal. Uh, Barrett, wait, there we go. Nice, Cloud has cure all. These guys suck, man, they do a lot of damage. Let's speed things up a little bit. I think Cloud's. No, it didn't actually. 
I was going to say, I think Cloud Sting had two levels. He's all materia, two levels, but only has one. Go, go, go. Damn that blue impulse. Come on. Everyone's got their limit breaks, which is nice. Okay, boomerang, cool. Let's show off uh, Cloud's new attack. Klim has it. New limit break. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> 644. Not bad. Okay, so we got a boomerang, and you might be thinking, boomerang? Who's that for? Well, we haven't found out yet, but we will. Um, now, the, here's, here's the thing. Um, finding this encounter can sometimes take a really long time, <laughs> so um, I'm just going to keep trying until, until I get it. And... Uh, Excuse me, and then when I do, we'll move on. All right, we have this encounter. For any of these encounters, I think, I'm gonna try this, because I think Matra Magic should suffice. These guys are called Kappa Wires, and they're supposedly weak to fire. But I, I actually don't think they are. They have 210 HP, nice. So Matra Magic is just powerful enough to take them out. I'm just trying to see if, um, I think what I'll do is I'll keep uh, looking for the the encounter that I'm looking for, and I'll cut it in once I find it. So, be right back. Okay, here's the encounter. This is the Mystery Ninja. Um, uh, the other thing to say is I ended up using Barrett and uh, Red 13's Limit Break in the previous fight. It only took one more fight, um, so I ended up using that. Uh, and now we encounter the Mystery Ninja. Now the Mystery Ninja has uh, 800 total HP and you can very easily finish her off by casting the all-powerful Beta. So if she uses some kind of fire ability, let's use Beta. We tried so hard to get that. And boom, 990. <laughs> yeah, that's not overpowered at all. All right, cool. Now, after winning this fight, do not press anything. When you're here, do not press anything. Do not press the menu button. Do not uh, try and go for that save point up the top. Do not press anything. You have to do a very specific set of things. So the first thing you want to do is talking to the Mystery Ninja. So walk over and press X. Man, I can't believe I lost. <laughs> I love the way she jumps. You spiky-headed jerk. One more time. Let's, let's go one more time. You want to say, not interested. Make sure to follow these exact instructions, by the way. Think you're running away? Stay and fight. Fight, I said. Okay, now we can talk to her again. Come on, what's the matter? You're pretty scared of me, huh? And you want to say, petrified. Hmm, just as I thought. What do you expect with my skills? Good luck to you guys, too. If you feel up to it, we can go another round. Later. I'm gonna leave, I mean it. And you wanna say, wait a second. What is it, you still have something for me? Hmm, so is that it? I know you want my help because I'm so good. You want me to go with you, right? Uh, you want me to go with you? And you wanna say, that's right. Heh <laughs> thought so. You put me in a spot. Hmm, what should I do? But if you want me that bad, I can't refuse. All right, I'll go with you. And now you wanna say, let's hurry. <laughs> huh? Hey, hey! Wait, I haven't even told you my name. It's Yuffie, and a brilliant pun um, trophy name. Sure you can join us. Sure you can join us. <laughs> All right, Yuffie, or Yuffie. I'm Yuffie, good to meet you. I like this part here. <laughs> Just as I planned. Now all I have to do is a little of this and a little of that. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. Nyuck, 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 I'm pretty sure is a reference to the Three Stooges, I think. Hey, wait up, wait for me. Three Stooges, if you're really young, which I don't think, it, well, I think the vast majority of my audience knows who the Three Stooges are, but if you're really young, they were a, like a slapstick comedy uh, group from a very long time ago. Curly, Mo, and Larry, I think it was, something like that, yeah. Um, okay, so we got Yuffie in our party. Now, the reason you don't want to um, press any, like, open the menu or access the save point is because she 
she like steals gill from you or something and and it ruins that whole encounter you need to do exactly what what i did there for it to work out not config uh phs let's bring her in real quick and we'll just see what she's got so she's got a four point shuriken we just stole the boomerang for her so we just put that on she comes with a carbon bangle which is actually really nice and we don't have any accessories to give her. She also comes with a throw materia. Throw materia is not very good. Um, I think it just allows you to throw an item, which I've never used. So I'm just gonna remove it from her and keep it in our inventory. And we're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna put Barrett right back in. Now, the only problem is, uh, okay. Actually, what we're gonna do, I'm just trying to think of how this should be done. I wanna heal. Oh, actually, no, that's fine. That's... No, we're fine, we're fine. I will give myself a quick... Yeah, this actually worked worked out rather well. Alright, let's head to Junon. So Junon is over there. Um, as you can see, this area... You can sort of climb over there, but <laughs> I'm pointing at the screen like as if you can see me. You can climb in that direction. You can go in that direction, but it's all blocked off. And the direction behind that mountain there is uh, blocked off as well. This is the only place you can go. Alright, looks like we have one more battle before we get there. Alright, these guys are very weird name. It's Nero Sufaroth. Uh, they have 150 health, but they're quite strong. Like, there's very few things that can one-shot them. I, I believe Matra Magic can one-shot them, so I'm gonna try. Okay, here we go. Hopefully. Yep, alright, beautiful. Can more than one-shot them. They have 150 HP, yeah. It's funny, Matra Magic, like, it, uh, apart from, like, the Fire 2 spells and all that, and Lightning 2 and Ice 2, it's pretty much the only thing that can one-shot them. Alright, now, because I don't want to screw this up, uh, let me, I'm going to swap uh, Materia around real quick. So, the Materia I want is, I want Chocomog Elemental on Cloud, and I want it to have the Long Range Materia as well. So, let's take that off uh, Red 13 and give it to Cloud. Um, I think everything else is okay. I don't need anything else on him specifically. He can have cure all. Um, I want Barrett to have the poison materia, which he does, and I want to give the enemy skill materia to uh, Red Thirteen. And while we're at it, we'll give him both steals so that he can try and go first. And then we'll give the fire and ice materia and the chocobo lore materia to Barrett. All right, beautiful. So that's how set up. Um, yep. Okay, we're good to go. So we'll do one last heal. That was dumb, but that's okay. Um, all right, so you can see what this place looks like. Um, funnily enough, I only noticed this uh, recently, you know, I'm gonna save. But when you enter here, it's actually completely different. Like Junon is a, um, as you can, well, you can still see it here. It's a town like on the harbor. And um, we will be going to the place that you can see here, but you enter in this area first. What happened to this town? It's so run down. Okay, let's talk to people. Wow, now this is rare. We almost never have anyone other than the Shinra people visit this town. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. Uh, nope, nothing in this house. We're gonna come back here in a moment, but oh, we're gonna end up there in a moment, but nothing in that house. Move, lady. Uh, in this place, there is a a weapons dealer. If you see a weapon you want, you better buy it. So you can buy some weapons here, but it's nothing... Well, it actually says weapon shop, but there's no weapons. <laughs> um, mithril armlet, and then you've got a bunch of, like, regular stuff that I'm not gonna get. One really funny thing is if you go over here and talk to him like this, he goes, hmm, what? Um, in the original, I believe he said, uh, you want me? <laughs> Which is a really weird, like, line, and so they changed it. Uh, it was really funny. What kind of place is this? Uh, who are you people? Where did you come from? Wait, Cloud asked... Okay. Did you see a man with a black cape? Hmm, I've never seen that fella before. That's not what I asked. There's a Shinra dude over here. Hey, this is Shinra Incorporated's elevator. Don't be snooping around here. Okay. Let's just run up here real quick. Yeah. Nothing up here either, but I'll just show it off little cool feature you can like climb up onto the top of the top bunk. Nothing you can do up here, unfortunately. What? How much time we got left? I got a little bit of time. Ah oh, man, all the music in this game is so good. 
Ever since Shinra built that city up, uh, built that city up above during the war, uh, uh, there's been no fish in the water. It got so polluted. Phew. All right, you know what? I'm gonna have to do this very quickly because this uh, next part actually takes a little bit of a long time, and I think I've only got like a minute to cut out of this episode. H hey, Mr. Dolphin. So, a young girl and a dolphin. My name is Priscilla. Now you say it. Who are you guys? Are you members of Shinra? No, you got it all wrong. We're fighting against the Shinra. That's how it is. I don't believe you. Get out of here. Great. Battle music. Hey, it's a monster. Be careful, Mr. Dolphin. Hey, Priscilla, come- what the hell is wrong with you? Hey, hold on, we're coming. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bottom Swell. And I reckon this one will look really good in the remake. Alright, here's what we want to do. So Barrett is going to be the first person to attack. We want him to use the spell Bio. So let's- uh, not Poisoner, that heals poison. So Bio on him, because he's weak to- well, he's not weak, but he's susceptible to poison. Red 13, you want him to use Beta. That's going to deal a lot of damage. And finally, you want Cloud. Nice, I actually got the poison off. It doesn't really matter. And finally, you want Cloud to use the summon. Um, you can only summon once per um, level of your summon. So make sure you um, start up with the summon. So look how much damage that did. He's got 2,500 um, HP, which is actually quite a lot. If you don't have beta, this boss takes uh, a bit of time. Fledgling Summoner. All right, so we're going to get a, a summon here. So this is Choco Mog, so it's a Chocobo and a Mog. And they smash into it. Um, it should do like 400 something damage. 324, 3, 327. I can tell numbers. <laughs> um, yep, so and then set some poison, throw in another bio, throw in one more beta, and then finally we'll have Cloud use his long range materia to attack. Now he's going to use this move here which puts a bubble on the um, on your party member. Oh, actually he put it on red 13, that's really bad. <laughs> so that's long range there taking effect. So Cloud was able to attack from his position without like... He just kind of swung his sword, so you'll see it again here. Mm. Okay, bio one more time. Alright, so the unfortunate thing about that bubble is it's like the pyramid move from Reno. Um, you need to hit it with magic damage. Luckily I did enough damage um, with my other characters. You need to hit it with mag magic damage. If it affected anyone else but Red 13, Beta would have killed it and uh, he would have been free. So yeah, got a little unlucky there, but it's all right. It worked out. Power Wrist. Power Wrist is not bad. This is bad. You don't think she's dead, do you? I don't even know who's talking there. Priscilla! There's just enough polygons to tell that it looks like a relatively old man. <laughs> nope, she's not breathing. I guess we may as well just give up. <laughs> okay, help her. Young man, do CPR. Mouth to mouth? Come on, Cloud. But she's just a girl. <laughs> it doesn't matter, for goodness sake. <laughs> um, you know I can't. What? You don't know how? Come over here, I'll show you. <laughs> Yes, I gotta do it. Just take a deep breath, hold it in, then breathe into her. Hurry up and do it. All right. So you get this uh, really like crude um, uh, diagram of uh, or display of Cloud's lungs, and what you have to do is it's a mini game. You press the square button once, and then it, it, as you can see, it says it starts the CPR gauge, and then you press it again to stop the gauge. Now um, that little red. Thing is going to go up and up and up and up and if it reaches the very top before you press square again um, it'll like he'll cloud will breathe in too much and it'll just expel the air so you need to press it before it reaches the top um, you need to breathe 41 like increments into Priscilla to uh, revive her I, I believe the quickest way to do it is to breathe nine four times and then which will give you 36 and then breathe another five times so let's give it a shot <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, press the square button. So that's 9. Now wait a second. Press the square button. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Press the square button. So that's 18. Press it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 27. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 36. And now if it goes now if this is correct, I should only have to do five more. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this should this should revive her. Perfect. Uh, uh. Hey, hey, Priscilla, are you alright? One interesting thing about that is the maximum you can do is 10, but I think there's a chance that you can get 11. So if you manage to get 11, you could, but it seems to be random when you get 11. If you could manage to get 11, you would only have to breathe in uh, like 11 times and then 10, 10, 10. But 9, 9, 9, 9, and then 5 is the most like consistent way of doing it. Um, all right, let's stop here and we'll continue next time. So I want to thank you all for watching episode 22 of Let's Pattern Final Fantasy 7. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.